What's up guys, my name is Aaron, today I'm going to be reviewing It, the new supernatural horror movie that's based on the Stephen King book, and it's directed by Andy Muschietti. I'm probably going to mess up the name, so I'm sorry about that. I was looking forward to this based on the trailer. I thought this trailer looked really good, it really kind of sold me on the movie, just like the mood and the setting and how it seemed like they really took their time with kind of making this movie and stuff, and I really appreciated that, make it like a serious movie, and uh, I thought that the trailer did a really good job of selling the movie, so when I saw the first trailer, I didn't need to see anything else. I was sold on it. I was going to see it the first day I could. I'm like familiar with the plot, and I feel like everybody basically is, so I'm not really going to go into like the plot and stuff like that. I feel like everybody basically knows that. Um, I'll just throw that in the description and I'll just slide in there just kind of to show you. I thought this was a pretty great movie. I kind of had to think about it a little bit to kind of say what my concrete thoughts Thoughts were but I do think this is a great movie considering all the things that kind of went into the movie and the kind of message of the movie too. To me it was probably like the scariest horror movie of the year. I wasn't like completely like jumping out of my seat with the movie. I don't think they really relied on like jump scares or anything like that and I was glad because I hate that in movies. I feel like the imagery was really intense for the movie like they really didn't like pull any punches with like the content that you're seeing in the movie. I felt the cold opening of the movie was really good in the first place, like kind of showcasing what type of tone the movie is going to be and what was going to happen to the kids and stuff like that. I just don't think I've ever seen like in a movie that happen to a kid. It was really kind of jarring and I kept my like mouth open throughout the entire movie because I wasn't really sure what was going to be happening and stuff. I actually thought that some of like the realer things in the movie, like the things that are actually happening in real life as opposed to like the clown Pennywise stuff was more traumatizing and more like potentially upsetting to me. Like the adult on kid abuse and the bully on kid abuse. Um, I just hate that type of stuff in movies and this movie really didn't like pull any punches with showing what that type of torture and uh, abuse would look like and especially with the bully on kid abuse like that was really jarring to me so I appreciate the movie for kind of going all the way out there with the things that they were showing and stuff and it really kept me on this edge of my seat and I also thought the cinematography of the movie was really great I feel like with most modern mainstream horror movies uh, you really don't see like they kind of do like the same thing the movie is always really black the color grading is always like kind of dull like it doesn't really have a lot of colors and stuff like that I feel like with this movie it really did the opposite it kind of had this like warm vibe to it that kind of felt like that nostalgic 80s vibe to me that they were kind of going for with like the small sleepy town in wherever they were set and it kind of makes you like not anticipate what's going to happen because you're kind of in a safe place I guess while you're watching it but then when the stuff kind of starts happening you really get a chance to notice all these small details about this kind of mayhem that's happening on screen and I think if it was just like super dark and stuff you really wouldn't notice it but I feel like with this movie you really get a sense of what's happening and stuff even in like scenes where it's like in abandoned houses or like the sewers and stuff even if it's like darker you can get a sense of like the surroundings and the location which is really good because actually seeing all this stuff happen without you cutting away or whatever it's really cool to kind of have that type of effect on the movie and I thought that there were some really cool shots in the movie too that kind of disoriented you to the madness of what was happening on screen and then the filmmaking is really good um I think that the dude that directed this movie is definitely on the up and up definitely because of how much attention he was putting to the movie it really felt like it was like a labor of love and it really feel like a lot of mainstream horror movies where it's just kind of thrown together to me I feel like it was really well done like the way that the cameras were done showcasing all this type of stuff. To me, the chemistry between the kids or the Losers Club was definitely the highlight of the movie to me. They actually felt like real kids, like they would in like 80s movies like The Goonies or Stand By Me or even like the newer show, Stranger Things. They all had their own little quirks and details that kind of separated themselves from each other and all made them feel like simultaneously lived in characters. They kind of had this like unified ostracized vibe because they're kind of the outsiders of their town and they're kind of like the nerdy kids, I guess. It's to me they just look like real kids they didn't really look like you know Hollywood kids that you would see like on Disney Channel and that made it feel more real to me if I had to say a standout it would be Finn Wolfhard's Richie who's a kid on Stranger Things I thought that he was probably given like the most to do because he was like the comic relief and he would just say these one-liners all the time and he was really funny consistently really funny as the comic relief I really felt like all the kids did a really good believable job showcasing these kids in this situation and stuff and 
I felt like it really felt believable to me that they would be hanging out and trying to figure this all out together. And I felt like the kids really communicated the themes of the movie really well to me. Like the loss of innocence and just kind of sticking together to kind of face your fears. They really communicated that really well. I think the actors did a really good job with the movie. Definitely the chemistry between the kids were definitely my favorite part of the movie. And I can't talk about this movie without talking about Pennywise. I thought that Pennywise was good. It didn't really like blow me away like other villains have in movies, but I think it was a good job, I guess. I did like Bill Skarsgård take up the character. I liked that he was kind of like youthful and playful. Like it kind of made you have this like false sense of security when you're around him. But then when he kind of hooks you in, that's when he gets you and that's when he becomes menacing and stuff. And I think that he did a really good job with the character. His build is really like lanky and kind of tall because he's like a taller dude. He kind of leans into that type of performance that I didn't think that Tim Curry really did. It really makes you feel really creepy and really like from a different world, you know what I mean? And I also thought the blend of practical makeup and the CGI effects were really well done. It was really natural and believable. It didn't really take me out of the movie at all. Like if you look at Bill Skarsgård, like he looks like a model. He doesn't look like, like an unattractive dude. I guess it makes sense because his brother's Alexander Skarsgård, but I don't know, like, if you saw him before and after, it doesn't look like the same person at all. So I think that a really good job with this character design and stuff like that. Like I said earlier, it wasn't like super impressed. I don't think he was in the movie kind of enough to kind of be like a super lasting impression. But uh, I think he did a good job. It's probably Bill Skarsgård's best performance by default, I guess. Um, if you've seen the other stuff that he's done, it's not like great material. But I think he was solid in this movie. I don't think it's a perfect movie, though. To me, the pacing was kind of off in the second half the movie when they're kind of learning about like the clown and stuff like that. The movie's like two hours and 15 minutes and I kind of felt that way during the second half of the movie. The bully aspect but really cartoony and kind of unrealistic to me. I don't feel like anybody would go that far out of their way to mess with somebody. It just really didn't feel real life to me. And to me this is just like a personal thing but I feel like horror movies don't really leave like a lasting impression on me anyway. They're kind of like amusement park rides. Like you kind of go through it and then once you finish it, it's kind of done. Unless like there's something like this super memorable about the horror movie, I probably will never watch the horror movie a second time if that makes sense. And I don't think this movie really has that special type of thing about it. But I do think it's a really well made movie. I think that it's actually really intense with the things that they kind of show. I don't think I was really like scared outside of like a couple of moments with like the more real tangible things. But I do think that it was like a really intense movie and I do applaud the filmmaker for kind of going for that no holds barred our type of approach of the movie. The cinematography is really well done. You can really clearly see what everything's going on. There's a lot of long takes and stuff. There's not like a lot of like cuts and stuff and you can really see the action and stuff that's unfolding in the movie. Um, and it really kind of makes you notice all the details with like like mayhem and stuff that's happening in the movie. It really makes you immersed in that and it really forces you to kind of be there and be present in that action. The chemistry with the Losers Gang is probably my favorite part of the movie. And there's a lot of heart and a lot of humor with that part of the movie and and I think the actors did a really good job. Really feeling like real kids from the 80s, I guess. And it was definitely like the part that I kind of gravitated towards. And I think that the character development was fine in the movie. It was pretty well done for like seven kids, I would say. Pennywise is good. It wasn't like super amazing to me. I thought it was a good showcase for Bill Skarsgård's talents because I think I never really took him that serious, but he was good in the movie. There's some pacing issues to me. Um, I feel like the second half of it is kind of slow. And um, I feel like the bully aspect was a little bit too much you know what I mean nobody really acts like that and I just don't think this is gonna leave like that lasting of an impression on me I think it's a really well-made movie but horror movies it's really rare for me to kind of go back and watch these movies um I think I'm gonna bump up the score a little bit because I do really like the themes and the like message of the movie like the loss of innocence and sticking together to fight your fears and stuff like that so I think overall I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. It's a really solid movie, definitely up there um, with like Get Out and stuff for probably my favorite horror movies of the year. So yeah, those are my thoughts on it. What are your guys' thoughts? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks guys.